Hello students, welcome to Source Code Learning Session for Subject English. Source Code is one of the leading names help students in their life goals through schooling, sports and life skills. Today I'm going to take your uh, basic English grammar. Our first topic will be noun. So kids, let's begin. We will start with parts of speech. Let's see what is parts of speech. Different types of words we use when we speak and write are called parts of speech. Parts of speech is combined or used singly to form a part of a sentence. Each part of a sentence contains at least one part of speech. Parts of a sentence are Subject, predicate, objects, complements, phrases, and clauses form the structure of a sentence. So here you can see types of parts of speech. So there are eight types of parts of speech. Noun, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions, and interjections. So today we will learn about Noun. So let's see. Let's get some brief idea about all the parts of speech. First is noun. Noun refers to the words or phrases that represent a person, a place, a thing, or activity, or a quality of or idea. Like dog, cat, elephant, school, work, town, Manila, teacher. These are all a name of something, name of person or name of place or name of activity or name of a thing. So these are called naming words or nouns. Next is pronoun. Pronouns, this word refers to that are used instead of a noun or noun phrase in the sentence. So example, he, it, its, me, mine, she, that, these, those. So these are pronouns. Next, verb. Refer to the words or group of words that describe an action, experience, or express a state of being. Like run, sit, stand, go, have, get, promise, invite. These all are verb. And have, has, these are helping verbs. Next is adjective refers to the words that describe a noun or pronoun. When we are talking about some queer person or a place, when we are uh, giving the description about the person, place or animal or a thing, that is, that word is called adjective, adverb. Refers to the words that describe a verb, an adjective, another adverb or a whole sentence that is called adverb. Like badly, fully, carefully, hardly, nearly, hungrily, never, it is it. Now, article. Refer to the words that are used before a noun to modify the noun. Example, the, a, or an. Next is preposition. So, refers to the words that are used before a noun, pronoun, or gerund to show the place, time, or direction. These are called preposition like ever, except, from, in, near, of, before, since, etc. Conjunctions refers to the words that connect words, phrases, or clause in a sentence. What is phrase? In a group of words, these are called phrases. Like when we are going to uh, join a sentence or a, a join two sentences or to group some group of words. We will use and, or, so, after, since, before, either, neither, these are, the, 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 etc. These are called conjunctions. Now, interjection. Refer to the words or phrases that are used to express a strong feeling or emotion. These are called interjection. Like, aham, uh -huh, uh, gosh, oh, great, hey, hi, hooray, etc. These are interjection. So here you are showing your strong feeling. 
you're expressing your strong feeling. So now, let's start with nouns. What are nouns? Any idea? We know the naming words. We call every person or animals or birds or things with the particular names. So those names are naming words. Example, boy, girl, man, postman, milkman, tiger, iron, Delhi, India, teddy, teddy bear, toys, etc. These all are name of place, feelings, things, persons, or name of animals or birds. So these are called naming words or nouns. What types of nouns? There are three types of nouns. Noun, like first one is proper noun, common noun, then collective noun. Let's see the types of nouns now. Okay, nouns. Everything around us has a name, like people, animal, places, things, all they have names. So we call them with proper names. So these are nouns. Nouns are also called naming words. Naming word is a different name of nouns. So like first picture you can see mother. Further, next cow, pig, table, book, school. These are all a particular name. Whenever we will talk about mother, then you will find a picture of your mother. When I will call uh, that, I will tell about father. Then you will think about your father. So there is a particular name. By this name, we can recognize that particular person. And same with animals, cow, pig, these are animals' name. Same with things, table, books. So these are things or objects' name. And school, temple, college, these are places' name. So these all are nouns. Now, you can see a picture of chair. It is a thing. It does not have life. Whenever you will think about chair, this picture of the chair will come to your mind. It is, it is its name. So right now, where you are sitting? You are sitting on a chair, right? So that's a, that's a name of that particular thing. So when we will say that bring a chair, so you will bring a chair only, not a table. So you know you will think about the picture of the chair. So we that's why we make we keep a name of object of people, a person, or anything. Right now, what what you see in your room, call out their names. Those are naming words like bag, clock, ball. Globe, table, book, computer. You can see so many things in your room. So those also objects or things are nouns. You can see the picture of teacher. This is a naming word of person. Whenever you read the word teacher, you know that this is the person who helps you in study at school. So it's a naming word. So whenever you are going to write this word teacher in your copy or in your um, in anywhere. So that time you can understand that this is the name of a person who helps you in your school or studying. Now, in the same way, Many people help us in our daily to day uh, day to day life. We know them by their profession name, like farmer, uh, who, like farmer who grow vegetables for us, etc. Like artist who paints picture, chef who cook in restaurant, 
cooks in restaurant, farmer who grows food or grains for us, soldiers who take care of our whole country, gardeners who plants flowers or uh, plants, tailor who makes our dresses, bakers who bakes cakes, uh, cookies, uh, donuts, etc. So these are profession names. We know them as per their profession. These are also naming words. Which animals you can see around you or in the zoo? You know all of their names. Those names are nouns for the animals. Now you can see the first picture that is cat. Cat is our pet animal. Dog. Dog is our pet animal. And these are naming words. These are naming words for our pet animals. You can see so many animals in the zoo like elephant, fox, tiger, gorilla, rhinoceros, giraffe, deer. So these are zoo animals or jungle animals. So we will we know their names. So these all are nouns or naming words. Whenever we will write these names in, uh, we will write this animal's name in our sentence, we know these are nouns. Whenever I will write, the fox is uh, cunning. So that time I know that fox is the naming word of an animal. So that time we will underline this is noun, fox. Got it? Now, where are you? Where are you now? At home. Where do you go for study? In school, right? So these are name of the of those places. So these are nouns. You can see the city name like parish, Paris, home, park, China, America, beach, stadium. Different type of places name. So these all are naming words or places. These are their common names. So this is this is called common nouns. Nouns, naming words, like things. If we will say things, and uh, like chair, pen, pencil, eraser, these all are things. This is the common name of things. Driver, teacher, postman, uh, milkman. These are common name of person. Cat. Dog, dinosaurs, uh, fox, tiger, horses. So these are common name of animals. School, home, um, hospital. These are common name of places. So these are common nouns. So common name. I'm not taking any particular name. So these are common nouns. Now nouns. There are two types of nouns, that is common and proper noun. All nouns have a common name and also that some nouns have a special name. So, common name, common name is general name. Like person, place, animal, things, these are common name. Here you can see the picture of a clown. So I'm saying that he is a clown. So general name of this person is clown. This is his profession name. So we are calling him as a clown. But we don't know his name. So that's why clown is a common noun. Common name. That's why it is common noun. So any so many clowns are there in the world. So this is a this is a single clown in that, those so many clowns. So this is the common name or general name of a person. If I say they live in a city, so this is the general name for this place, this particular place. I'm not taking any particular city name. I'm not saying this is Bangalore city or this is Kolkata city or this is uh, Delhi or this is. Uh, Hyderabad, I'm not taking any city name. This is a general name for the place. I'm saying that they live in a city. So this is general name or common name for place. 
Now, it is his dog. So, general name for the animal is dog. So, for this particular animal is dog. So, uh, now, right now I don't know the name of this particular dog. So, that's why this is the common name for this particular animal. Common names are not capitalized unless they begin a sentence or a part of a title. So we all, uh, most of the time we will write a common noun with small letters only, not capital letter. Now special names or proper nouns. This is pets, days, months, organizations, etc. These all are special names or proper nouns. Like you see again that clown, now I know his name, John. John is his name. John the clown entertains people in a circus. So right now I'm telling about his telling his name. That is John. So John is the per, per special name of this clown. So special name for this clown is John. That's why whenever we will write this name, we will write with capital letter. So this is proper noun. His dog's name is Pluto. Pluto is the dog's name. So right now I know the uh, special name for this particular dog. So that is Pluto. Pluto is a special name for the dog. They live in Mumbai. So now I am taking the name of this city. Special name for the city. So Mumbai is a special name for a city. So this is proper noun. That's why we wrote, it, wrote this Mumbai, wrote the M in capital letter. So every time we will write proper noun with capital letter. Okay, you can see M, Mumbai M is capital, Pluto P is capital, J, John J is capital. Nouns. So person, animal, places, things, these all are nouns. Here you can see boy, dog, fort, card, these all are common nouns. We are taking the name of common, we are taking their common names. This is the common nouns. And proper noun, Ricky. Now I know the name of this boy, Ricky. Name of the animal, of this animal, that is Pluto. Name of this fort, that is Red Fort. Name of this, city, this car, that is Honda City. So Ricky, Pluto, Red Fort, Honda City, these all are proper special names. So these are called proper nouns. You can see here, we started with capital letter, Ricky, R capital, Pluto, P capital, Red Fort, R capital, and Honda City, H capital. So proper nouns, special names like cities, Mumbai, Kolkata, like that, days, Months, festivals like Dip Diwali, Dasera, Eid, these are festivals names. Holidays, Maharashtra Day, books, name of the books, the jungle book. People name, Rahul, Aditya, Mina. So these all are proper nouns. Whenever we will see this in a sentence, we can identify this is proper noun. Okay, this is your today's session. Let's meet next day. Thank you.